Hi everybody, my name's Grant Stevens and I'm the Commissioner of Police in South Australia and right at the moment while we're dealing with this global pandemic I also have a role as the State Coordinator which means I'm involved in making decisions about how we look after South Australia during the pandemic. This is a great opportunity for me to talk to some of you guys. You have mums and dads that work for the South Australia Police and they're in part of a really important team that's helping us deal with COVID-19 so that all of us can be safe and we can get on with life as normal as quickly as possible. Over the last week, we've been in a lockdown for seven days and it's been pretty tough. We've had school cancelled, some of you might have liked that. We've had sports cancelled, we can't go to religious activities, our family gatherings have been stopped and we can't even go outside except for going for a walk or going to the shops once a day. So it's been pretty tough. But now's a chance for you to ask some questions and hopefully I can answer those questions as easily and quickly as possible so you get more understanding about what the pandemic is really all about and how we're managing it in South Australia. So, on to the questions. Who'd like to ask the first question? What would you say about people that are feeling scared about the virus? Hi Dylan, and that is a great question. What can we all do to be safe and not have to be scared about the virus? Well, the first thing is, we've got a great team in the health department in South Australia working really hard to keep us safe. But what we can do as individuals is that we can remember it's important to wash our hands regularly during the day, especially when you've had something to eat or before you eat. It's about using hand sanitizer as well, as often as you can and just remembering those good hygiene principles and making sure that you don't mix with other people that you don't normally mix with. There's nothing to be scared about with the virus. It's about Thanks making sure we answer. stay safe Thanks and stay healthy. Answer. Who's next? Mm. What advice can you give kids that are scared of getting a COVID test? Hi, Asha. Thanks for the question. Uh, the COVID test, nothing to be scared of. It's not very comfortable, but it doesn't last very long and it's done by health professionals who know exactly what they're doing. If you have any symptoms, it's really important that you have the test because we need to get on top of this as quickly as possible. So a little bit of inconvenience and a little bit of discomfort for a really good outcome. So don't be scared of it and make sure if you do need it, you go and have it. Thanks for that. Who's next? How come my mum still has to go to work during lockdown but my dad doesn't? Really good question, Tilly. We have a category of workers called essential workers and these are people who still need to go to work even in a lockdown. These are people who help keep our community running. They're police officers, uh, fire department personnel, people who work in our shopping centres who supply the groceries and other important items that we need. So some people still have to go to work. But those people who stay home, they're doing a really important thing too. They're helping to stop the virus from spreading. So everyone plays their role. Some just have different roles than others. How many people work for the South Australian Police Force? Hi Annalise. South Australia Police employs about 6,500 people and that's made up of police officers, community constables, protective security officers, public servants, contractors and volunteers. And throughout COVID-19 we've actually employed even more people to come and help us keep South Australia safe. We are one big team and we all play an important role in making sure South Australia can be as safe as possible, not just from COVID but just for policing generally. So I'm very proud of the team. They do a fantastic job. Thank you for answering Who's my next? question. How many police help with the COVID-related jobs? Hi, Danica. This question really follows on from the last one. Every day, we're sending about 300 to 600 police officers out to do COVID-19 duties, where there's special roles that we've had to undertake to make sure that we're safe from COVID. That includes putting people into our Medi hotels, doing the border checkpoints, meeting people at the airport, checking that businesses are doing the right thing, all sorts of different roles that didn't exist before. But the really important thing is, it's every other person who works for the South Australia Police are helping those people on the front line. So it's a big team effort to make sure that we're ready to deal with COVID if it gets into South Australia. Next question. Do you get to decide on the restrictions? Great question, Indy. Yes, I do decide on the restrictions, but I don't do it on my own. I listen to expert advice from people in the health department and you all would have heard of Professor Nicola Spurrier. She meets with me very regularly and gives me really good information that helps me make these important decisions. And it's a bit of a team effort with me, the professor and the premier. It's been a very successful team so far and I hope we continue to be successful. 
Right, who's got the next question? Have you ever arrested anyone for ignoring the restrictions? Hey, Ethan, another really good question. I haven't personally arrested or reported anybody or given anybody a fine, but that's not my job. I have a very different role in the South Australia Police. We do have police officers out there, though, that are responsible for making sure people do the right thing. It's a bit like if you're in a football team or a netball team, you have to follow the rules. And when you don't follow the rules, then there may be consequences. When it comes to dealing with COVID, people who don't follow the rules put the rest of the community at risk. So some police officers do have to arrest them or report them for the things they do. Who's next? How did your team help you in the lockdown? Hi Isla, and another excellent question. I'm surrounded by a team of police officers and other staff members in the South Australia Police who have done a fantastic job in supporting me as the State Coordinator and Police Commissioner. They work really long hours and they're right across all of the critical issues that we have to deal with and they're working really closely with SA Health and the Premier's Office to make sure that we get the job done properly for the South Australian community. I couldn't be more proud of the people working around me. Who's next? I see you on the news all the time. What's it like to be on TV? Um, over the last year and a half I have been on TV a lot. People can tell when I need a haircut and they can also tell when I'm really tired and I get a lot of feedback from people who know me about that. The thing about being on TV all of the time is that I'm recognised wherever I go and uh, I've just had to get used to that. It's not something I thought about much when I took on the job but it is a part of the job and people need to know what information we've got to pass on so I'll keep doing it while I need to. Who's next? Commissioner. At the shops, do people ask you for an autograph at the shops or a selfie at the shops? Hi Maximus. Well like I said, people do recognise me when I'm out and about in the shops or out in the public. So yeah, when people come up and ask me if they can have a selfie, if they're nice, I certainly say yes. I haven't had to sign an autograph though. The other thing is, so many people come up and compliment us on the job we're doing for COVID to help keep South Australians safe. And I've got to tell you, those, those compliments are, are really welcome, and it's not just me they're complimenting, it's everybody who works for SAPOL. Next question. I watched you on the TV the other day, and you were asked the same questions. How do you handle that? And this is an important and, and a good question too, not like some of the ones we get in the media conferences. It can be frustrating when we get the same question time and time again, but I just remember that we're there to inform the public. We're, we're there to tell everybody in South Australia what they need to know so they can stay safe. So if we have to answer the same question a few times, that's a small price to pay to make sure people understand the rules and how they can help battle COVID-19. These are really good questions. Who's next? Police Commissioner, have you been to the borders recently and what did you think? And also, what is your ringtone at the moment? Hi Darcy, two really good questions. I'll answer the second one first. It hasn't changed. Right, okay. But your first question was about the borders. And I haven't been for the last few weeks, but I have spent lots of time visiting the police officers and other staff who are working on our borders because they're doing such a good job in helping keep us safe. There are lots of people who we need to manage as they come into South Australia to make sure that they are not COVID positive, and that's what we're there for. And it's pretty tough out there sometimes with cold, wet, windy conditions, so they're doing a fantastic job, and it's important that I go out there and say hello as often as I can. Right, what's the next question? Commissioner, do I have a put this on and how do I wear it? Hi, Thomas. That is a really good question and a really bad example of how to wear a mask. I'll show you. Masks are really important. This is how you put it on. Just like that, over your ears. Make sure your nose and mouth are covered. You don't have to wear a mask if you're trying to talk to people and they need to see how, you, how your mouth is moving to understand what you say. Little kids don't have to wear a mask. But if you're 12 years of age or over, you should wear a mask when you're out and about in public because it helps keep you safe, it helps keep your family safe, and it help keep, helps keep the community safe. Can you please, please, please cancel schools for like ever so that we can homeschool? It sounds like you might have enjoyed the extra time at home, Tilly. I have to say, if everyone's going to start wearing hoodies though, I'm not going to let people stay home from school. It's important that we get back to school as quickly as possible because as much as our mums and dads do their very best to ensure that we keep learning at home, there's nothing quite like school for a proper education. So as soon as we can get back to school, we'll be going back. How has COVID affected you personally? And 
Have you had to miss out on any events? Hi, Jada, and thank you for being a part of this. This is a really good experience. I have been affected by COVID personally. My daughter's wedding last year was cancelled twice before we finally managed to have it. One of my other children is 16 years old and he's had to be homeschooled over the last week. That's been a tough gig. And of course, I'm no different to anyone else. We've all been affected by COVID and we've all had to manage and do things differently. So it's been a challenge, but I think one that everybody's faced. Thank you, Commissioner. What's Commissioner, the next question? How did you look after your mental health during the lockdown? Hi, Lily. Great question. The last year and a half has been pretty tough and a lot of hard work, not just for me, but for a lot of people in the South Australia Police. What I do though, is I make sure that I get plenty of exercise. I love riding my bike and it helps me clear my head. I eat as well as I possibly can, lots of fruit and vegetables, and I get as much sleep as possible. And sometimes that's pretty tough. I also like reading, that helps me get away from work and relax. And I really enjoy playing with my dogs. I've got three dogs, a pug called Billy, and I've got two sausage dogs called Gracie and Zoe, and they are so much fun. They really help me take my mind <laughs> off work. Well, that looks like we've come to the end of the questions. I just want to thank everybody for being involved. It's been really good fun. It's been interesting to hear your questions, and I hope you've learned something along the way. And I have to say, some of the questions are better than the questions I get in the press conferences. Now, not everyone's thrilled about going back to school, but that's a really important part of life. So as much as you might want to keep wearing your hoodies, Get those school uniforms back on and make the most of it. Thanks for being involved. Thank you, Commissioner. Awesome. Thanks, Commissioner.